television sports presenter Imogen Lloyd Webber is a political commentator based in New York and they're both here now. Morning, Good both. morning. Good morning. Hello. It requires a bit of explanation as to exactly <laughs> what, what is it? What, what is it that people can read? Right, well really what the idea came to us because Imogen and I became friends really as a result of our Twitter friendship. We met at yeah, and a New Year's Eve party um, and the next day Imogen tweeted me to say because I'd come back to London did you get back to Blighty okay which is actually the first line of the book in January and we started a Twitter friendship and as this friendship was developing over Twitter and using Twitter we started to think there might be something in this in terms of a, a, an idea for a book Imogen's written a book before I'd never written a book before but really wanted to and so we thought why don't we give it a go and see what happens and then we're both quite determined beings and we thought <laughs> actually while this is while we're actually actually getting into something here mm. let's just go with it and see what happens so the entire book is written in 140 character tweets between two characters one lives in London one lives in New York let me just point out it's completely fictional yeah right <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what I want to ask you Imogen is it entirely it is, fictional it is fictional I mean Georgie's character it happens to be a sports TV presenter uh, but my character is a men's Use shoe designer you know. <laughs> my character is a men's shoe designer but she does live yeah. in New York like you do she does live in New York like I do but I, I do want to say it's not scary so, I mean, if you're not on Twitter, it doesn't matter. Problems, which is prose. I mean, as an author, normally you like to have a bit of time to write about descriptions of things, and that, that must be awkward. How do you well, get around that? We, we, we ease you down to the point to <laughs> submission that you will say, absolutely, I'm going to buy into this 140 characters. So the prologue is the descriptions of the characters. So you yeah. get to know what they're all about. And we've, got, we've also got a character list as well um, yes. that you can refer to in the book so that you know who And you make it kind of simple for people. About. I mean, your mum is called At Mum. Yes, Isn't not it? my mum, no. Tuesday Fields' mother, <laughs> is called At Mum. See, I can't and, help and, it. And Stella Cavill, who is the New York character, as I do this, the New York character, um, her mother's at Supermodel 1971. I mean, yes. we plucked silly ideas yeah. and names from all over the place, but um, in essence, the thing about it is it's a really simple story. Mm. It's just a romantic comedy with a really happy ending, but um, it's told in a different way to how you would normally read a book. Um, and how did you write, I mean, you wrote it, you collaborated on it entirely, the pair of you. So how did you write it? You wrote a chapter each, is that right? Exactly right. I saw a documentary about Blackadder, really safe route to go. So it was wonderful, because I mean, I've got quite a serious job in New York. <laughs> Georgie, I know, it's a bit ridiculous. I used to read Georgie's latest chapter and start laughing. And this book, I mean, it's not sort of... Not um, to be taken. No. That's, the, that's the positive spin yeah. on it. Were there days when either one of you read something the other one had written? And, and you, I mean, you have to yeah. tweet well, back. Well, Charlie, you know what it's like. You I do know, know what it's like. As yeah. a, we're all journalists, and as a journalist, you're very protective about your copy, aren't you? You know, you don't, it's, it's, it's an uncomfortable thing when it's edited in a way that you don't want to see it edited. So we had to be completely unprecious about it and just say, we accept that we're writing this together. We're very much co-authors on it, and, and let's just agree that friendship comes first. So in that case, <laughs> yeah. presumably there were moments when you had to say that bit... You just I did. think there were probably moments where, you know... But we're very yin and yang. I'm the logical one. So oh, Georgie yes. would put Valentine's Day in June, and I go, I'm right. not... I love your prose, Georgie, yeah. but actually... Val you know, that, that is a logistical, uh, a logical explanation, <laughs> but I was a bit scattergun with everything and a bit of a whirlwind, and would come up with these sort of mad ideas. Sometimes would be great, and other times would be a disaster, and Imogen would dot the I's and cross um, the T's. What's amazing about seeing you two together, you are plainly very good friends. You, <laughs> you finish each other's sentences. And we all, you know, you know, perhaps from a different generation, look at this kind of social media and say you can't make real friends mm. on Facebook whatever it is Twitter and you that, but yes. that's how you are friends isn't it's it? A, it's yeah. our true story we met at a New Year's Eve party just just the once um, and without Twitter I don't think we'd be friends it wasn't just any oh. old news <laughs> Oh, OK. It, was, oh, uh, <laughs> it wasn't any old New Year's Eve party, there was it? Uh, no, it was Piers Morgan's. It was called At Lord Twitter. Um, yes. Read into that what you will. Mm. But anyway, Lord Twitter wins. Yeah, always. Always. Was that, I'm fascinated now. Piers Morgan's New Year's Eve party, is that like a who's who of who? What was no, that? Like? It was a very informal affair, yeah, wasn't it? Was. was it? It was a very informal it's just about 12, gathering. Twelve of us at a, at a dinner table in, in a restaurant in Manhattan. So it was, it was lovely. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. So what happens next? Are you going to write another one, do you think? Do these characters well, continue? I did, characters, I did, say, not you. I did, I did cause Imo some concern when at the end of our book launch the other evening I said, right, so up next will be the Twitter Diaries hashtag too. So we are, we are thinking along those lines, but I think let's just see how this one settles with everybody first and yes. then we'll go from there. And but we have already cast the movie, just so you know. know. <laughs> yeah, go on then. Who's in the you movie? Think big. In, go on, who's in the movie? I've already spent about £70 million. Pounds. Yeah, who, who do you want in the movie then? Who's, well, who's we definitely you? think Emma Watson oh, would yes. be a good addition to 
the team, don't we? <laughs> okay. And As for that, and the love interest. It's an e-book, is that right? Yes, it's so it's not, it's not traditional. It's not no, it's because in paper it's form. about because it's yeah. in Twitter speak and it's called the Twitter Diaries. It made perfect sense to us to publish it first digitally. Um, ebook sales are going through the roof. It makes more sense for us to be doing that right now. So it's out on Monday and it is in ebook. Exactly, and also the character is going to be live. Well, the momentum, hopefully, as yeah. we go. Okay, well, it's an interesting idea. In, Good luck. <laughs> I'm not on Twitter, something. so it'll be tricky. Charlie, but I'll have this to is what tell you have him to do about next. <laughs> Louis, sign him up. Yeah, thanks very much. Thank you so much. It's never going to work. <laughs>